It's a really blustery day outside, and I've been out doing yard work. Pretty, huh? <laughs> so I am going to make a nice carrot and spaghetti squash cake, or bread. I'm not sure which it's going to be. I think it's more going to be a bread. But I was just looking at what's in the refrigerator and saying, what can I turn into something that's going to be nutritious and tasty? And I happen to have just under a cup of shredded carrots and just over a cup of leftover spaghetti squash. And I said, let's give this a try because I think it's going to be similar to zucchini bread. So I have four eggs in this bowl that I am going to beat while adding a quarter cup of monk fruit. And you know I don't like sugar. So the monk fruit's going to make it just sweet enough and it doesn't have to be beaten to be fluffy or anything. Nothing fancy. I have a cup and a half of almond flour here. It's going in next. And I have a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of baking powder here. Next, I'm adding a stick of melted butter. Mmm, butter. Then, I'm adding half a cup of coconut flour. Now the difference between almond flour and coconut flour is vast. They're both low carb flours, but the almond flour is very high in protein. The coconut flour is really dry, it's like a sponge. So I'm using that because I think it's going to work well with the spaghetti squash, which is very wet. So if it was going to be a zucchini bread, I don't know if I would use the coconut flour. I might use a little bit less. Now see how stiff this has gotten? Now we're going to add the spaghetti squash. Very nice. There's little bits of kale in there, too. A little extra surprise. But that really moistened it up again, see? Oh, this is going to be interesting. Next, the carrots. Now, the carrots are just shredded. They are not grated. If I was making a carrot cake, I would grate them because then they'd be much more fine and they'd be much more moist. I'm not worried too much about moisture with this because I've got the spaghetti squash. But this is going to make it pretty and it's going to give me extra vitamins and antioxidants, which is not a bad thing to have on a cold autumn day. I have a teaspoon of vanilla. And when you're using vanilla, you want to make sure you use real vanilla. The brand I'm using is Watkins. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. It can be the store brand but make sure it's real vanilla because that way it's a vanilla bean that has been soaked in alcohol and that's all it is. When it's vanilla flavor, I really don't know what it is. It's some kind of chemical. What else am I adding? I am adding a third cup of raisins and that's going to sweeten it up too. Oh, oh wow, this is really looking pretty going to add, I was shooting for a half cup of nuts. I had some walnuts, I had some pecans, I got about a half a cup. Adding a little more protein, beautiful omegas in the walnuts. Now the last things I'm adding are uh, about a half a teaspoon give or take, because I'm not measuring it, of cinnamon, because cinnamon makes everything delicious. And it also helps to move um, sugar into the cells. And then a little bit less nutmeg, because it also makes things delicious. Now this looks like it's going to make a large loaf pan. 
and maybe a small loaf pan too, so I might have a loaf that I get to freeze. This looks very good, and I will be back and show you how it looks. This made one large loaf. I've got the oven set at 350. I'm going to stick it in. I'm thinking it's going to take uh, maybe 40 minutes or so, so I'll be back and tell you exactly how long it did take. It took 50 minutes, not 40 minutes, and it is gorgeous. So gorgeous, in fact, all the dogs have gathered round to beg. I'm not going to aim, aim you at them. Take my word. They're here and they think it looks pretty good. Look at this. All the different colors. We've got the carrot flax and the raisins and the nuts. Oh boy. And it smells amazing. Oh, it's a keeper. Recipe will be on the website. And you could make... What I did is I just greased the pan and you don't have to flour it because it's a really moist and lovely cake. Bread. Bready cake. Cakey bread. <laughs> but it is delicious. So just um, oil the uh, bread tin. You could use two small bread tins and it would cook a lot faster. And I will have those instructions on the website too. So give it a try and enjoy.